We've talked all about the scorecard and we've talked about how to keep score, but let's talk about stats and how to track those and what we're looking for. So if I was playing by myself, I would put my name at the top. I would put fairways, greens, putts. Okay, I would do up and downs and I would do sandy saves. What we're looking for here is for fairways is did I hit the fairway off of the tees? So if I hit my drive and I'm in the fairway, I get to check that. Par threes are going to be exempt from that. So you're looking at 14 holes. So really your goal here should be as high as possible, but let's say our goal is seven out of 14. Let's talk about greens in reg. A green in reg is did you hit the green in the number of shots of whatever par is minus two. So that would be allotted for putting. So on a par three, a green in reg would be one shot. Par four would be two shots. Shots in a par five would be three shots. So in that case, you're gonna check those as you get them. Again, the higher the number here, obviously the lower the score is gonna be, so you'll customize it to whatever your playing ability is. But let's say that we're just going for half again. Um, putting, so our goals for putting is to two putt or less on every hole. So as you're playing, you would write your actual score here. So let's say you got par on number one. Let's say that one of your putts is from the fringe and then one is on the green, okay? So the one from the fringe actually counts as a chip, so you would not count it as a putt, so you would put one. And our goal for putts is gonna be between 32 and 36 putts for the 18. Tour players get about 29, just to put that into perspective. Up and downs, that's just like what we just talked about. If you actually hit a shot from the fringe, uh, which counts as a chip, and then you made the putt, that would be an up and down. Or if you chipped up and made one putt, then that would be your up and down for par. So you would check that. Up and downs, we don't really track the number, but it is nice to know how many par saves you had there. A sand save is, let, let's say for example, that on this par five, on hole number one, on your third shot, you hit it into a greenside bunker, you hit it out of the sand, and then you make the putt for par. That would be your sandy save. And those are super duper rare. So kind of fun to track, but they don't happen that often. Make sure to like and follow for your next scorecard video.